here. This is going to be a series that really can massively impact the tape. Very important that we get this language very, very clear. Invictus Gaming are eliminated from playoffs contention, and RNG, because of that, are in. They lock one of the final two remaining spots up for grabs in summer 2023. Xiaoshu has a bit of sustain, but his CCW doesn't get to use his sustain. Feel very practiced on it. Um, Leon as well, very strong on this Viego. It's one of his comfort picks. Troy's going to get hit. And this is what you were talking about, right? If you lose control of vision. 22 minutes is not that crazy late to have two it's items. Engage. It was just how one-sided the previous game was. Feather down. It's a bad little start for RA with Drake spawning onto the map. And before those supers are onto the map, Dragon started by RA. Five strong for both teams here as Fotic looks for the back line. But look at the poke coming out from NIP here. The resets on the WR in. Invincible wide on his ultimate, but not wide on his charge. Leanne, the next target, Shaoshu, trying to tank on the front line, but Invincible goes down, and maybe RA have turned it back around. The poke flies back and forth. The shadow still in smite range here, and is true with the true damage. Mold dashing forwards as we continue to go back and forth in the longest fight I've ever seen. A TP now as Fotic keeps alive from Lien. The movement is clean from Fotic, but he's in a 1v2 now. As the Zoom trying to chase him alongside Mole. The chains won't land as Angel comes in from behind. Mole trying to finish job and will do so. Looking for a shock blast, but Angel can't get in range. They have a pit combo of their own, although the CC doesn't land. There goes Fotic flying across the screen. Feather hooks him, but there's no support to help on the play. Shaoshu's gone in to try and answer on the backside, but he doesn't have the damage yet. Double kill for Fotic as RA sent packing on this one. And NIP can return to that Baron. With the amount of damage onto Leon as well, I don't think there's going to be a contest. Certainly not after that. Might have to stick around and hope for something. Giving up the Baron would be absolutely yeah. awful for Rare Atom. NIP, climb into the future. And with the Baron buff, things are going from bad to worse for Rare Atom. And I mean, <laughs> imagine trying to survive a siege against Lethality Jace and AP Kaiser. Like, the poke is just off the charts here. Look how much that chunk's for. And it's like a three second cooldown if you manage to find your target as well. That's one for the AD carry already as Mole flashed on, followed up by Fotic, but they couldn't quite finish the job there. And now the rest of the team happy to tank up as the poke continues to land from massive range. Lien kicked out of the fight by Fotic once again. Shaoshu in the midst of everyone. The sustain is good, but not good enough. And a second inhib will be taken down. Still 50 seconds on the Baron. They can siege the Nexus. They can certainly try. I think with the Ash Arrow up and the Blitzcrank spawning, it's going to be hard to finish, but they'll give it a good damn try. Yeah, it's just going to be TPs back into the play. Health bars back to full as one Nexus Tower falls. And they have so many cannons that are hammering away. Feather is gone. NIP's health bars are low. Maybe some kind of miracle can happen if Mole can get in, but the shiv isn't enough. They're abandoning the play. They're going through the hex case. No, they're not invincible. Can't make it out. And Angel suddenly finds himself alone. Big opportunity for RA to punish some players here as Angel will get jumped on, will get taken out, and will give over a shutdown of course they don't end the game there and uh, they get a bit of a mess of the retreat sadly for them give up a couple of kills but it is not enough to put themselves into a deficit shadow walking up again yep he is on that sejuani half hp flashes away and Joel arrives whoa oh. see you later Leon. you ain't getting no resets today shaoshu he's a big old croc and that's a lot of sustain as well mole trying to protect his top laner here the cc should be there for shadow over the wall oh who needs it who needs it angel just bops him and well mole is desperately trying to get the damage out with this shiv but great little shot there by Fotic. shoots it at the pad where mole had to jump back to as another tower will be taken the supers are pushing in both mid and bot the pressure is mounting onto ra the best cc is death punchables turns out that uh nib can true. deliver that one quite swiftly and with the huge damage coming out from both Angel and Fotok of mixed damage, you can't even itemize against it. There's a couple of Merc Treads which uh, don't help you versus the three item, now three and a half item, uh, Jace in that mid lane. Seeing those damage, he's just never in range or a position to stand still and get those autos down. And this is the problem of trying to play um, your pick combo into a Sejuani or another proficient tank jungler. There are Merc Treads, that's nasty. There is a huge amount of defensive abilities and that thumbs up uh, shows you how Shadow is feeling. Knows that we're talking about him. 
has that sixth sense. He's so hard to take down, and Rare Atom have very rarely been able to get clean picks to start that combo off. Yep, Photic even getting a flask for the potential final play here. Over 10 CS per minute from him, from Molt, and from Assume in this one. Oh my oh. days, that damage is insane! Photic staying back in this one as an arrow goes in, but it's Jewel picked off to start us off here. NIP forced back, but RA struggling to actually answer with their team being knocked back. Feather again gets oh, chopped oh. down and taken out. The long range kills come in. Xiaoshu trying to find his way onto the backside, but it's Photic diving on the opposite side of the play, eradicating RA. What looked like a win for RA right there with a pick on Zhuo is quickly thwarted as NIP find their race, a triple for Photic, and my god, what a game from NIP with this poke comp. Photic had a hat and he put a feather in it at the end. Holy moly, that death cap did so much damage. And I love that we're starting to see some of these more like assassination. If they can win this game of League of Legends, there are very few teams in the history of the sport that have had an opportunity to knock out <laughs> five opponents in a single game. But it's NIP on the red side that have that power in their hand. If you can't find the all-ins, oh, flash forwards! Or maybe it's the all-ins that favor NIP! The bomb gonna land, no! Flashing oh! away, but the minions do the damage! The ignite there from Juo. Forget anything I was saying, NIP are on top. So much CC to combo into the big damage from Triss and this Ziggs. Damage on bot side, though. Yeah, no flash for Juo either, so that will be a kill for Assume. Yeah, they do give it over. I wasn't sure if they were actually gonna give that one over then. Assume picking up a bit of gold much needed as well because this lane was already starting to feel like it was getting out of control oh the flash forwards to get the stun the knock up flashed away from but the stun into the wall can't be great play from shadow invincible baiting in xiaoshu there is massive all-in potential especially with the cleanse and the flash available for assume it's invincible that could be in trouble for now the stun is there the follow-up stun is there the follow-up stun is there and the follow-up stun is there like Every okay. time someone says his name, they cut out the sound of it and then play the title screen instead. I now need someone to go through the entirety of this split <laughs> and do the same thing to our top player, Invincible. <laughs> Takes a huge chunk from Angel for it. Like, the, the zone control from the Mindville, from the Satchels, can be so valuable. Bombs coming out here as Mole is onto the back line, but he doesn't have that much damage. And Feather's gone down. The bombs across the team as well. And now Xiaoshu. Mole getting jumped on by Angel. Xiaoshu's found Photic, but the Buster Shot saves him with a flash as well. And Mole has to dip. Xiaoshu abandoned by the team, and he'll go down to Photic. Everything looking up NIP. There are an awful lot of LPL teams sucking the breath in at that one because that is a wince of pain from the teams waiting to see if NIP will lose a game to Rare Atom and give some teams an extra chance. They don't even need to hit the tower. The Herald will finish it off alongside that Whoa. W. That is utterly disgusting. Sometimes you forget how quickly those towers disappear. It's more golden. You have to engage into this team to stop this push. Maybe they can get the smite. Maybe they can hit the eye. Okay, Ooh, they do stop it, but Feather might have traded his life to do that. The bomb on his head and will pop. Xiaoshu on a flank, but Shadow's found him and won't quite find the engage onto the player. But now, look at this. Baron's on the map. NIP have found the enemy support, have complete vision dominance. Uh, this is dangerous territory for RA. Uh, you have Kraken Slayers, you have Leandries, you have the ability to tank this objective. You have ultimates too. Rare Atom, they're going to have to engage without their Nautilus into a rush down Baron. This is going to be scary. Lien knocked away. 6k on the Baron as Molt finds Invincible. Trading back as Lien back on the other side of the pit. This could be 50 50. This could be dangerous. Chuo going to jump straight onto Lien. They want to find the jungler, but the blast going into the pit. Baron still at 2k HP right now, but there's a kill on to Assume who dived alone into the back line. I'm not entirely sure what is going on in this fight as RA continue to try and hold on. Lien being chased around Angel. the map. Angel knocks him away but he can't quite finish the kill and he's gone down instead nip back onto the baron again here and they will be able to take it as ra continue to chase mole with a chain feather alongside him he's got a chain on the end of an anchor 
But the bomb's continuously coming out from voting. It doesn't feel like RA can actually finish these kills off. And now Invincible's going back in instead. This is absolute chaos on the rift. But NIP, the ninjas in pajamas, they've rolled out of bed. And they're kings of the chaos, apparently, as Feather <laughs> trying to hook himself away. The fight will just never end. It's final. If he hasn't even petered out just yet, there are teleports are already for round two. I don't know where it stops. Leanne goes back in, stunned against the wall by Invincible, but the bomb's still going from Votic, who's still chilling, full health, here comes full Angel. mana here. The rest of the gang is in, as the flash to dodge the hook. Angel, big damage, Shaoshu trying to get the suns onto the carries here. He'll get onto Votic, and Shadow trying to protect the Ziggs here. That's one Yordle down. Next one on the chopping block is Votic. Shaoshu, the Yordle executioner, pest control out of the top lane, and NIP in shambles. Poppy well, yeah, but well, Poppy's and... not really destroyed the True. towers, is she? I, I was meaning, like, Poppy took Star the six. Demolish Rune. I can appreciate that. They're helping <laughs> in whatever way they can. Poppy's the project manager, you know? Yeah. She's in charge <laughs> the of the demolition. Form and see what they can do. But Rare Adam, this is the one chance they have to do anything. This is the one time they've been allowed outside their base in, like, five minutes. They haven't had any chance to play around Vision. They're trying to go for whatever they can. Here we go, RA, like you say, first time out on a little trip around the map. Assume almost one shot by the bomb as Leanne trying to tank. Angel jumps into the rest of the scrap as Assume is gone. Feather is next as he's pulled back in and stuns across the team as well. They can't move. RA don't even get to participate in their own team fight. Shaoshu gets the counter strike to keep himself safe, but NIP, they can just walk into the base now. Top tower is missing. Bottom tower being pressured by these supers as Angel might be able to finish off Mole with a crit there. Mole forced away from the play as he gets onto a Nexus Tower and the super still going strong. There's one tower remaining on the Nexus right here and NIP are just going to hammer away at it. What a composition to do it with as NIP not only keep their playoff streams alive, but they shut down that of five other teams. It's a pentakill for NIP as they eradicate swaths of teams in the LPL. It is like a million voices cried out and were suddenly silenced. Anyone's legend, Fun Plus Phoenix, Ultra Prime, Invictus Gaming, and of course, Rare Atom on the Rift today, all eliminated in a single series by the Ninjas in Pajamas. If that isn't a A-class display of ninja assassination potential, I don't know what is. <laughs>